Hi, I'm Alan Gaspe, sales engineer with Quest. Here to talk to you about our solutions for hybrid environments, where you have an on-campus or on-premise UC system, as well as a cloud uh, cloud-based uh, system. So essentially, this, this, the, the same process is used to identify the location of the user, because you could still have the same user of on, in one cubicle with a hard phone connected to the on-campus user, and then you could also have the, the the guy beside him using a soft client registered up to the cloud or a hard phone, because the users don't really care, right? They're, they're still gonna be using their devices to do whatever they're doing. They don't really need to know if they're on campus or if they're in the cloud. Most of them don't really care. So, But essentially, they're all connecting from the same network. They're all gonna be on the same switches or maybe VLANs or access points. And that's essentially the trick of identifying the location during a 911 call. So identifying where they're connecting to the, to the network and then using that information to say either the IP subnet or the Ethernet switch or port or access point is, is where it's located. So all that information is managed in the emergency gateway appliance itself. So managing the, the location of your subnets, your switches, ports, and access points, and the security notifications is all managed within the emergency gateway. But essentially, the call flow is pretty straightforward. You might actually have a session border controller on campus that's providing your PSTN connectivity, so your SIP trunking and stuff like that, whereas the cloud service just delivers it to your SBC, and your SBC kicks it out the rest of the way. What happens in most cases, that information is actually aggregated to the emergency gateway. So the 911 calls from the on-campus and your cloud system get routed to the emergency gateway. We identify the MAC address and IP address of the calling device to identify where they're connecting to the network. And then the emergency gateway routes the call the rest of the way to the, to the ERS and then out to the answering point itself. So essentially, it's the same kind of information. Depending on the different platform you're using, there could be different... Uh, uh, different interfaces that are required to gather the registration events, and different things like that to identify as the devices are moving around. So essentially, there, there could also be a separate connection from the cloud system into the, uh, into the emergency gateway appliances to enable the APIs and different things like that to function. But essentially, the call flow is the same. The 911 calls get routed into the emergency gateway, either through the cloud or through the on-campus or aggregated through a session border controller. And then Mercy Gateway uses the caller's information, his MAC address or IP address, to identify the location automatically, and it runs the call out to the emergency routing service, which then dispatches nationwide. So essentially, that's it in a nutshell.